Hey, this is Jeanette at the Not So Perfect Mom, and I am doing my Urban Fantasy and Paranormal bookshelf tour. These are all the books that were in the tote, so let's get started. Greywater and Poltergeist, both by Kat Richardson. Lover Awakened, Covet. Lover Unbound, Lover Enshrined. Dark Lover and Lover Revealed, all by J.R. Ward. Highlander's Touch. To Tame a Highland Warrior. Beyond the Highland Mist, all by Karen Marie Moaning. Halfway to the Grave. Destined for an Early Grave. And This Side of the Grave, all by Janine Frost. Visions of Heat, Angel's Blood, Angel's Flight, Archangel's Kiss, all by Nalini Singh, Darkest Passion, Twice as Hot, Awaken Me Darkly, The Darkest Lie, The Darkest Surrender, Wicked Nights, The Darkest Secret, and The Darkest Seduction, all by Gina Showalter. Stray, Rogue, Pride, Prey, Shift, and Alpha, all by Rachel Vincent. And this is a really great uh, shapeshifter series. Dead Alert by Bianca De Arc. Night Storm, Black Storm, and Wind Storm by Gaja J. Koss. And I probably mispronounced her name. I apologize. Shrine of Light, a book of the Daughters of Bast, and it's by Sarah Isidore. Staying Dead by Laura Ann Gilman. Witch Fire by Anya Bast. The Becoming by Jean C. Stein. Fayborn by R. Garland Gray. Heat Seeker by Laura Lee. The Touch of Twilight by Vicki Peterson. Mona Lisa Awakening by Sunny. Wicked is the Night by Catherine Mulvaney. Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter by Seth Graham Smith. Storm's Heart by Thea Harrison. Wait Till Your Vampire Gets Home by Michelle Bardsley. Visions of Magic by Reagan Hastings. Burning Darkness by Jamie Rush. Laws of the Blood, Companions, and Laws of the Blood, The Hunt, both by Susan Sizemore. On the Prowl Anthology, featuring Patricia Briggs, Eileen Wilkes, Karen Chance, and Sunny. Huntress Anthology, featuring Christina Warren, Marjorie M. Liu, and Caitlin Kittridge and Jenna McLean. Dark Stranger, also by Susan Sizemore. Fairies Gone Wild Anthology, featuring Mary Janice Davidson, Louis Greeman, Michelle Hoff, and Leandra Logan. Poppy Done to Death by Charlene Harris. Black Magic Woman by Justin... Gustanis, maybe? Dates from Hell Anthology, featuring Kim Harrison, Lindsay Sands, Kelly Armstrong, and Lori Handelin. Wicked Enchantment by Anya Bast. Dark Desires by Eve Silver. The Star Witch by Linda Winstead Jones. Beauty by Robin McKinley. Beyond Eden by S. L. Linnae. 
Dead Girls Are Easy by Terry Gary. Witch Ball, The Seer by Linda Joy Singleton. Sea Witch by Virginia Cantra. The Accidental Demon Slayer by Angie Fox. Accidentally Demonic by Dakota Cassidy. Unclean Spirits, Book One of the Black Sun's Daughter by MLN Hanover. Through a Crimson Veil, Patty O'Shea. Sex and the Single Vampire. Holy Smokes. Me and My Shadow, all three by Cat Katie McAllister. Nice Girls Don't Date Dead Men by Molly Harper. Night Bites by Nina Bangs. Taken by the Night by Katherine Smith. Dawn's Awakening by Laura Lee. Shadow Walker by Allison James. Night of Darkness by Kinley McGregor. Unholy Ghosts by Stacia Kane. Hellfire by Kate Douglas. The Vampire Who Loved Me by Teresa Medeiros. Turned by Julie Kenner. Tempest Rising by Nicole Peeler. Wicked Road to Hell by Juliana Stone. Seduce Me in Flames by Jacqueline Frank. Beneath a Blood Red Moon by Shannon Drake. Bloodborne by Linda Howard and Linda Jones. Enemy Mine by Karen Harlow. Pleasure Unbound, a Demonica novel by Larissa Ione. Touch If You Dare by Stephanie Rowe. Finding the Lost by Shannon K. Butcher. Shadow Light by Lynn Bell. Carnal Sin by Allison Brennan. When Darkness Comes by Alexandra Ivy. Deliver Me from Darkness by Tess Hilaire. Hunting the Hunter by Shiloh Walker. Hunger Untamed by Pamela Palmer. The Dream Hunter. Night Pleasures. Both by Sherry Lynn Kenyon. Listen to the Shadows by Danita Ray. Single White Vampire by Lindsay Sands. Blood Trail and Blood Price, both by Tanya Huff. Heart of the Jaguar by Lindsay McKenna. To Catch a Wolf. Dark of the Moon. And Chasing Midnight, all by Susan Crennard. Night Walker by Jocelyn Drake. Sydney Sheldon's Mistress of the Game by Tilly Bagshaw. Dark Seduction by Brenda Joyce. It Sleeps in Me. And It Wakes in Me by Kathleen O'Neill Gear. And this is a really good uh, trilogy. I believe there's a third book that I don't have. Second Grave on the Left by Dorinda Jones. The Prophet by Amanda Stevens. Everlasting Kiss by Amanda Ashley. Embrace the Night. And Midnight Embrace, both by Amanda Ashley. Born of Shadows by Sherilyn Kenyon. Embraced by Darkness. Destiny Kills. Moonsworn. The Darkest Kiss. And Bound in Shadows, which is missing its front cover, by Carrie Arthur. Winter Kiss by Michelle Hoff and Viviana. Last Wolf Hunting by Rhiannon Bird. Sanctuary from the Rain Tree series, which has different authors for each book. And it's, this one is by Beverly Barton. The Dark Gate by Pamela Palmer. Immortal Wolf by Bonnie Vanek. Enemy Lover, also by Bonnie Vanek. 
Lord of the Wolfen by Jessica Anderson. Blood Sun by Erica Orloff. This is Haunted, also from the Rain Tree series by Linda Winstead Jones. And these are all of the Silhouette Nocturne books that I own. The next few are Harlequin, and then there's one uh, Silhouette Shadows. This is in the Silhouette Shadows series, and it's Waiting for the Wolf Moon by Evelyn Vaughn. This is a Harlequin Intrigue. It's Spellbound by Rebecca York. And this last one is a Harlequin Extreme Blaze. It's The Ultimate Bite by Crystal Green. And these are all the Harlequin Silhouette um, Nocturne books that I have. Thanks for watching. So that was all of the urban fantasy and paranormal books that I physically own. I still have quite a few on Kindle, but I guess, don't think you guys would be interested in those. So what would you like to see next? Here are some options. Okay, so here's what I've not filmed. These are homeschool books, the top and the two bottom. Then the one in the middle is children's books. And then I have foreign language learning books. And then I have witchy books right there. And then this whole shelf here is nonfiction, and it's a couple main categories like um, survivalism, prepping, things like that, uh, educational, nonfiction, schools, historical, and then like psychology type books. Then I have mystery books on these three shelves, plus some in a tote, and they're mystery, thriller, suspense things. And then these three shelves here are historical fiction and just literary fiction. So if you see something you want me to do a uh, bookshelf tour on, let me know and I will try to get that up next. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you'd like to see more.